I actually had a lot of self-doubt as a kid. I knew at a young age that I was fast, but I don't think I truly believed that I could end up here. Like, I always had it as a goal, but to actually truly, in a self-belief, believe that I could be here, it was kind of like, oh, maybe. I always had that doubt of, like, what if? What if I don't make it? But now to actually be here is pretty crazy and a pretty proud moment for me to have made my first Commonwealth Games. I grew up in Stratford of Taranaki on a farm. Started the sport when I was five. My parents took me to the local athletic club. It was called Rolly Walker Night and they had ribbons that they gave out and apparently that was enough to, <laughs> to bring us back the next time. Zoe Hobbs gets up on the toes and she's away. And she's off to the races. And it's going to come through for a second. Wilson's going to be Woo! third. Oh, that was sharp. <laughs> oh, dang, that was real sharp. This year, especially being so close, really started to give me that confidence and that inner belief that this could actually happen. Year by year, it's sort of just been like a build on the next year approach. So started with World Juniors, and then the following year it was World Unis. Out of the blocks, the build on that. A very long hold for these world-class women, and Bowie has got a little bit to do. Oh, I didn't get the opportunity to go to Tokyo, which was disappointing. At the time, I was in Australia trying to do a time and decided to last minute, two weeks before leaving, go to Europe, because I was like, I've got nothing to lose. Like, I don't even know what's next for me. I trained with Ralph in Berlin, and I think at that time, that was the best decision that I could have made, because it meant that I learnt a whole lot. But I think, more importantly, it gave me the mental break that I needed at that time. Um, I was actually starting to think, why am I doing this? Um, yeah, like, the, the doubt really did start to creep in then. There was a really good moment out of it where Jenny, one of the girls that I was staying with, he said, she's got a lot of potential that she doesn't know that she has. And I was like, OK, that's really cool to actually hear that from another coach who's actually been with other high-level athletes. And when I eventually did come back to Auckland and I was in that group setting and seeing how well everyone else was doing, I was like, right, this is, like, enough to motivate me to really kick it into gear and yeah I think that's what sort of drove having a successful domestic season. Just cross that finish line. Now it's Glickman. It's a new New Zealand record. I've looked at previous performances. 11, 15 would have medaled at several of the past games. However, like, you never know who's gonna show up. It's exciting seeing that that has been a medal prospect in the past, so we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> I've never actually been in a full stadium before competing in a 100 metres. Last time I went to the World Champs in Doha, there wasn't actually that many people watching, so this is going to be a new experience in itself. Such a journey. Yeah, 19 years to get to this point. It's pretty crazy.